Mary Elizabeth Sissy Spacek, born December 25, 1949, is an American actress and singer. She is the recipient of various accolades including an Academy Award, three Golden Globe Awards, two Critics' Choice Movie Awards, a Screen Actors Guild Award and nominations for four BAFTA Awards, three Primetime Emmy Awards, a Grammy Award. Born and raised in Texas, Spacek initially aspired a career as a singer. In 1968, using the name Rainbow, she recorded a single, John, You've Gone Too Far This Time. Sales of her music sputtered, however, and she was dropped from her record label. She subsequently switched her focus to acting, enrolling at the Lee Strasberg Theatre and Film Institute. SpaceX began her professional acting career in the early 1970s, making her debut with a minor role in Andy Warhol's Women in Revolt 1971, and received attention for her role as Holly Sargas in Terence Malick's Badlands 1973. She rose to prominence with her portrayal of Carrie White in Brian De Palma's Carrie 1976, for which she received her first nomination for the Academy Award for Best Actress. Following her appearances in acclaimed films Welcome to L.A. 1976 and Robert Altman's Three Women 1977, she won the Academy Award for Best Actress for her portrayal of Loretta Lynn in Coal Miner's Daughter 1980. Her other Oscar-nominated roles include Missing 1982, The River 1984, Crimes of the Heart 1986, and In the Bedroom 2001. Her other films include Raggedy Man 1981, JFK 1991, Affliction 1997, The Straight Story 1999, Tuck Everlasting 2002, Nine Lives 2005, The Help 2011, and The Old Man and the Gun 2018. On television, SpaceX received Primetime Emmy Award nominations for The Good Old Boys 1995, Last Call 2002, Big Love 2011, and portrayed matriarch Sally Rayburn on the Netflix series Bloodline 2015 -2017. Since 2018, she stars as Ruth Diva on Hulu's psychological horror web series Castle Rock. As a singer, SpaceX sang all of the Lynn's songs for the soundtrack album of Coal Miner's Daughter, which garnered her a nomination for the Grammy Award for Best Female Country Vocal Performance and released a studio album Hangin' Up My Heart 1983. The album was critically well received and peaked at number 17 on Billboard Top Country Albums. Topic. Early life Spacek was born on December 25, 1949, in Quitman, Texas, the daughter of Virginia Francis nay Spillman, December 18, 1917 to November 10, 1981 and Edwin Arnold Spacek Sr. July 3, 1910 to January 7, 2001, a county agricultural agent. SpaceX's father was of three quarters Czech Moravian and one quarter German ancestry. Her paternal grandparents were Mary Servenka and Arnold A. SpaceX, who served as mayor of Granger, Texas, in Williamson County. Actor Rip Torn is a first cousin. His mother Thelma Torn, nay SpaceX, was an older sister of Sissy's father Edwin. SpaceX's mother, who was of English and Irish descent, was from the Rio Grande Valley of Texas. At age six, she performed on stage for the first time, appearing in a local talent show. Although her birth name was Mary Elizabeth, she always was called Sissy by her brothers, which led to her stage name. She attended Quitman High School and was named Homecoming Queen at her senior prom. In 1967, SpaceX was affected greatly by the death of her close 18 year old brother Robbie from leukemia when she was 17, which she has called, the defining event of my whole life. SpaceX said the personal tragedy made her fearless in her acting career, I think it made me brave. Once you experience something like that, you've experienced the ultimate tragedy. And if you can continue, nothing else frightens you. 
That's what I meant about it being rocket fuel, I was fearless in a way. Maybe it gave more depth to my work because I had already experienced something profound and life-changing. Topic. Career Topic. 1970s and beginning of acting career Spacek initially aspired to a career in singing. In 1968, using the name Rainbow, Spacek recorded a single titled, John You Went Too Far This Time, the lyrics of which chided John Lennon for his and Yoko Ono's nude album cover for Two Virgins. Sales of her music sputtered, however, and she was dropped from her record label. SpaceX subsequently switched her focus to acting, enrolling at the Lee Strasberg Theater and Film Institute. She worked for a time as a photographic model represented by Ford Models and as an extra at Andy Warhol's factory. She appeared in a non-credited role in his film Trash 1970. With the help of actor Rip Torn, her cousin, she enrolled in Lee Strasberg's Actors Studio and then the Lee Strasberg Institute in New York. Her first credited role was in Prime Cut 1972, in which she played Poppy, a girl sold into sexual slavery. The role led to television work, which included a guest role in The Waltons, which she played twice in 1973. SpaceX received international attention after starring in Terence Malick's Badlands 1973, in which she played Holly, the film's narrator and a 15-year-old girlfriend of mass murderer Kit Martin Sheen. SpaceX has described Badlands as the most incredible experience of her career. Vincent Canby of the New York Times called the film a cool, sometimes brilliant, always ferociously American film," and wrote, Sheen and Miss Spacek are splendid as the self-absorbed, cruel, possibly psychotic children of our time." On the set of Badlands, Spacek met art director Jack Fisk, whom she married in 1974. Spacek's most prominent early role came in Brian De Palma's film Carrie, 1976, in which she played Carrietta Carrie White, a shy, troubled high school senior with telekinetic powers. Spacek had to work hard to persuade director De Palma to engage her for the role. After rubbing Vaseline into her hair and donning an old sailor dress her mother made for her as a child, SpaceX turned up at the audition with the odds against her, but won the part. SpaceX's performance was widely praised, and Pauline Kael of The New Yorker wrote, Though few actresses have distinguished themselves in gothics, Sissy SpaceX, who is on screen almost continuously, gives a classic chameleon performance. She shifts back and forth and sideways, a nasal, whining child, a chaste young beauty at the prom, and then a second transformation when her destructive impulses burst out and age her. Sissy Spacek uses her freckled pallor and whitish eyelashes to suggest a squashed, groggy girl who could go in any direction. At times, she seems unborn, a fetus. I don't see how this performance could be any better, she's touching, like Elizabeth Hartman in one of her victim roles, but she's also unearthly, a changeling." She was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Actress for her work in the film. SpaceX previously had been the set dresser for De Palma's film Phantom of the Paradise 1974. After Carrie, Spacek played the small role of housekeeper Linda Murray in Alan Rudolph's ensemble piece Welcome to L.A. 1976 and cemented her reputation in independent cinema with her performance as Pinky Rose in Robert Altman's classic Three Women 1977. A review in the New York Times wrote in this film Miss Spacek adds a new dimension of eeriness to the waif she played so effectively in Carrie. Altman was deeply impressed by her performance. 
She's remarkable, one of the top actresses I've ever worked with. Her resources are like a deep well. Brian De Palma added, SpaceX is a phantom. She has this mysterious way of slipping into a part, letting it take over her. She's got a wider range than any young actress I know. SpaceX also helped finance a Razorhead 1977, David Lynch's directorial debut, and she is thanked in the credits of the film. Topic: 1980s and Oscar win. SpaceX began the 1980s with an Academy Award for Best Actress for her performance in Coal Miner's Daughter 1980, in which she played country music star Loretta Lynn, who selected her for the role. In the film, both she and Beverly D'Angelo, who played Patsy Cline, performed their own singing. Film critic Roger Ebert has credited the movie's success to the performance by Sissy Spacek as Loretta Lynn. With the same sort of magical chemistry she's shown before, when she played the high school kid in Carrie, SpaceX at 29 has the ability to appear to be almost any age on screen. Here, she ages from about 14 to somewhere in her 30s, always looks the age, and never seems to be wearing makeup. In addition, Andrew Saris of The Village Voice wrote. Sissy Spacek, yes, I'm flabbergasted, is simple and faithful as Lynn. Spacek's face is no more of an actor's instrument than it ever was, but given a human being to play, given a director concerned with acting, she makes that woman exist. She sings the songs herself, nicely, and she has mastered the Appalachian accent. SpaceX also was nominated for a Grammy Award for her singing on the film's soundtrack album. She followed this with her own country album titled Hangin' Up My Heart 1983. The album spawned one hit single, Lonely But Only For You, a song written by K.T. Oslin, which reached number 15 on the Billboard Country Chart. In the film Heartbeat, 1980, SpaceX played Carolyn Cassidy, who slipped under the influence of John Hurd's Jack Kerouac and Nick Nolte's Neil Cassidy into a combination of drudgery and debauchery. SpaceX was so adamant about getting the role that she poured through over 4,000 pages of research to prepare for her character. Producer Ed Pressman and director John Byram took her to dinner to advise her that she did not have the role. SpaceX was so distraught at the news that she shattered a glass of wine in her hand. After that, Pressman walked up to SpaceX with a piece of shattered glass and told her she had the role. He said that SpaceX breaking the glass clinched the deal, and they believed she ultimately would best suit the part. The film was released on April 25, 1980 to mixed reviews. Still, Roger Ebert felt her performance as Carolyn was wonderfully played and described her scenes with Heard and Nolte as almost poetic. Also in the 1980s, SpaceX starred with Jack Lemmon in Konstantin Costa Gavras's political thriller Missing 1982, based on the book The Execution of Charles Horman and appeared with Mel Gibson in the rural drama The River 1984, and with Diane Keaton and Jessica Lange in 1986's Crimes of the Heart 1986. She was nominated for the Best Actress Oscar for all of these roles, but won her second Golden Globe Award for Best Actress, Motion Picture Musical or Comedy for the latter. Other performances of the decade included star turns in husband Jack Fisk's directorial debut Raggedy Man and the drama Night, Mother SpaceX also showed her lighter side by voicing the brain in the Steve Martin comedy The Man with Two Brains 1983. 1990s–2010s 
She had a supporting role as the wife of Jim Garrison played by Kevin Costner in Oliver Stone's JFK 1991 and made a number of comedies, TV movies, and the occasional film. Most notable of her appearances during these years was her turn as the evil Verena Talbo in the ensemble piece The Grass Harp 1995, which reunited her with both Laurie and Jack Lemmon, as well as a supporting performance as the waitress Margie Fogg in Paul Schrader's father-son psychodrama Affliction 1997. She also played Rose Strait in David Lynch's The Strait Story 1999 and Brendan Fraser's character's mother in Blast from the Past. In 2001, she was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Actress for her work in Todd Field's In the Bedroom 2001. The New York Times film critic Stephen Holden said of her work in the film. Ms. SpaceX performance is as devastating as it is unflashy. With the slight tightening of her neck muscles and a downward twitch of her mouth, she conveys her character's relentlessness, then balances it with enough sweetness to make Ruth seem entirely human. It is one of Ms. SpaceX's greatest performances. Her performance as Ruth Fowler, a grieving mother consumed by revenge, won extraordinary praise and garnered the New York Film Critics Circle Award for Best Actress and the Los Angeles Film Critics Association Award for Best Actress as well as the Critics' Choice Award for Best Actress, Golden Globe Award for Best Actress, Motion Picture Drama, and Independent Spirit Award for Best Female-Led, and many others, with her sixth Best Actress Academy Award nomination, Space became only the eighth actress to be nominated for at least six leading role Oscars. SpaceX is the most recent inductee to this list. Other performances of this decade include unfaithful wife Ruth in Rodrigo Garcia's Nine Lives 2005 and a turn as a woman suffering from Alzheimer's in the television movie Pictures of Hollis Woods 2007. In 2008, SpaceX had a supporting part in the Christmas comedy Four Christmases and a lead role in the independent drama Lake City. SpaceX appeared on the HBO drama Big Love for a multi episode arc as a powerful Washington, D.C. lobbyist. In 2005, she narrated the audiobook of the original Carrie novel by Stephen King. In 2006, she narrated the Harper Lee novel To Kill a Mockingbird, 1960, which sold over 30 million copies. In 2011, she received a star on Hollywood's Walk of Fame. SpaceX was featured in The Help 2011, directed by Tate Taylor, and with the cast, was awarded with the Screen Actors Guild Award for Outstanding Performance by a cast in a motion picture for their performance in the film. In 2012, SpaceX published a memoir, My Extraordinary Ordinary Life, with co-author Marianne Vollers. The Washington Post's Jen Cheney called it, "...refreshingly down-to-earth," and beautifully written. She also mentioned that SpaceX's description of her childhood is so evocative that one can almost taste the sour stalks of goatweed she chewed on steamy summer afternoons. Jay Stafford of Richmond Times-Dispatch pointed out that, unlike other actors' autobiographies, SpaceX benefits from good writing and remarkable frankness. The Austin Chronicle's Margaret Moser stated that SpaceX's memoir is as easy to read as it is a pleasure to digest. Joe Muscolino of the Biographile gave the book a 5 out of 5 rating, saying that it does not disappoint. Kirkus Reviews, however, was less appreciative of the book, calling it an average memoir and overly detailed, while criticizing its lack of narrative arc, but complimented SpaceX for being truly down to earth. It further criticized that the book is ordinary and does not have enough drama to engage readers not directly interested in SpaceX and her work, and ended by saying that it's for die-hard movie buffs and SpaceX fans only. SpaceX became the first person to appear as an actor in a film nominated for the Academy Award for Best Picture in each of the four most recent decades. 
Each film appeared at or near the beginning of its decade. Coal Miner's Daughter, 1980; Missing, 1982; JFK, 1991; In the Bedroom, 2001; and The Help, 2011. Topic: Personal Life. SpaceX married production designer and art director Jack Fisk in 1974, after they met on the set of Badlands. Fisk later directed her in the films Raggedy Man 1981, and Violets Are Blue 1986. They have two daughters, Skylar Fisk born July 8, 1982, and Madison Fisk born September 21, 1988. Skylar Fisk has followed in her mother's footsteps as both an actress and a singer. In 1982, Spacek and her family moved to a farm near Charlottesville, Virginia. Topic: Filmography. Topic: Film. Topic Television Topic Discography Topic Albums Topic Singles Topic Awards and Nominations Topic See also List of actors with Academy Award nominations List of actors with two or more Academy Award nominations in acting categories List of stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame List of actors with Hollywood Walk of Fame motion picture stars.